The end of projects creates a lot of paper scraps. My systems of organizing them are not as tidy as I like them to be, but I store them in these containers. I know it's time to start destashing when the scraps begin to overflow, which brings us to today's project, junk journaling with paper scraps. So in this video, I'll show you how to use your paper scraps to create a junk journal file. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Bree from 1134 Press, where we share bookmaking, journaling, and paper craft inspiration to help you document your life. Also, so what is a junk journal file? A junk journal file is typically a thin junk journal made up of individual pages that are bound together within a file folder. This particular style of file folder that I'm making was inspired by the Instagram scrapbooker Sky Bambi. I recommend this style of journal if you want to document a specific event, vacation, or memory, or if you like to collage one page at a time opposed to doing spreads. Before I share with you the techniques that I use to create this file folder, let Let's first talk about how to go about collecting junk from your scrap box. So when I'm going through all of my scraps, I pull out pieces that spark my creativity. You'll need papers for ephemera and also papers for your actual journal pages. When I'm sorting, I don't know which will be which, but when you're creating your actual journal, it'll be easier to make decisions if you're working with less materials and not spending time sorting through all of the different types of papers you have in your scrap box. For the most part, the papers that I'm using in this journal are really scrappy bits from the post or papers that I use to protect my desk when I'm working with dyes and sprays. And once I've created my little kit of materials, I can then move on to creating the cover. <laughs> I'm using a basic manila folder for my cover, cutting it down and manipulating it to look more vintage. I'm using a combination of coffee and art spray that I'll leave a link to in the description. To make the closure, I cut four circles from the remaining pieces of folder and attach two circles together with an eyelet. Be careful not to squeeze the closure too tight because you want to be able to wrap the cord in between the two circles. The pocket on the inside is made from a frosted window from a piece of junk mail that I soaked in coffee and crumpled for vintage vibes. You won't see it in this video, but I will make a mini booklet that will tuck in this spot. These self-adhesive fasteners will be used to bind my scrappy pages together. A link to these will be listed below. I marked punching guide marks on my pages and used a single hole punch on each sheet. And binding the journal is literally as simple as that. This binding technique is also great if you've collected a lot of ephemera from a particular trip. You can add maps, tickets, receipts, and all kinds of mementos that you've collected during your travels to use as pages in your journal.
This last sheet is from packaging paper and I will use it as a frame for these mini Polaroid pictures of my husband and I from a recent wedding anniversary dinner. I'm using a piece of vellum to create a guide for cutting on the packaging paper. And yes, this journal is incomplete. There are so many crafts and writing prompts that I want to do with this particular journal, and I can't wait to share the process with you along the way. So you will see this journal reappear in future videos. I'll be sure to make a playlist dedicated to the many aspects of completing this journal. project that I'll do in this crafting session is to use this mail envelope as a detachable pocket. I grunged it up a little bit with some art spray and some coffee and then I clipped it using a bull clip. highlighting today is junk journal treasures on Etsy. In junk journal treasure shop you'll find exactly what the name promises. There's a host of unique digital kits, handmade ephemera, and essential supplies to help you build a beautiful journal. Visit Junk Journal Treasures in the link in the description below. If you believe that your shop can add value to our community of creative journaling artists, make sure to leave the name of your shop in the description below for the opportunity to be featured in the next video. And so with that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.